arm is placed up on towels and a target is drawn out over the capitellum. Once fluoroscopy has been used to mark out the trajectory of the pins, they are placed through the skin, aiming to get maximum divergence at the fracture site. The assistant will hold the K wire and then the surgeon will bring in the wire driver. The humerus is usually on an incline due to the towels underneath the humerus and this needs to be considered when placing the pin trajectory. The pins are passed until such time as they have bicortical purchase. Sometimes they'll pass across the olecranon on fossa and encounter four cortices. A second pin is then also placed and again fluoroscopic confirmation is performed in the anterior posterior as well as the lateral position. Once two pins have been placed, stability can be checked. Once the final position of the pins in the lateral projection has been checked on fluoroscopy, dynamic screening can also occur. In order for this to occur, the elbow is brought out into extension and again a lateral picture is taken. There should be no fracture site motion. Next, the surgeon can grasp the upper humerus as well as the forearm and under live fluoroscopy, assess for fracture stability. If the fracture site is seen to move, a third pin may be required. The vascularity of the limb should be checked at the conclusion of the procedure to ensure that it is perfectly pink and that there is a strong radial pulse present.